Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on the live series on YouTube with SAP UI5 flexible programming model. By far in the last episode, we learned about how to enhance our Fury element application with the object page using OData v4 and annotations. In our today's session, we are going to go ahead and add a micro chart column as part of our table in the object page. The micro chart is a very small radial chart which displays the data in form of percentage. In addition to that, it also can show the color coding. So to be able to achieve it, first of all, we need to know where is our data going to come from. So I'm going to switch over back to our data model. So this is the data model what we are already using. If you go to the application DB folder, we have our schema CDS where we have the data model. If you scroll down to line number 83, you can see that we are extending our booking entity with the three important columns criticality, which will show the color of the chart, the booked flights, which is just going to calculate total number of seats which are booked and also eligible for prime, which is more of a Boolean value deciding whether this customer is eligible for a prime or not. You can notice the annotation here is given as score computed, which means the value of these properties will be computed using the using the exit handler, event handler function in their cap framework. So the implementation we have done into the GS file. So if you come back and check my service folder, we have done a implementation in travelservice.js. And here you can see we have added a exit handler for booking data. We are checking whenever somebody is reading the bookings. There is a read operation on booking. Please trigger this block of code. In this block of code, we are setting the criticality. In order to set the criticality, we are checking the status for the travel if it is go green. In addition to that, we are also calculating whether this customer is a prime or not. To be able to do that, we need to find out the total bookings done on a, on a particular flight and compare it with the bookings done at VIP level. If the number of bookings are greater than for this particular booking, more than the number of VIP bookings, then we will be setting the value of the VIP as true. So you can see here line number 275, we are reading bookings. Then these bookings, we are also calculating here, reading the booked flights for a single airline. And here we are calculating eligible for prime or not. So we first calculate the total number of bookings, which is done. And then for these bookings, are these bookings greater than the allowed or the VIP customer bookings? So this is basically the data available at carrier table level. It's basically kind of a threshold. So if my number of bookings exceeds this threshold, then I am going to uh, find whether it is prime booking or not. So all these values will be computed at runtime. You don't need to worry about it. I just showed you the logic where it is, but it's all done in the existing implementation. When you pull out the code in the session one from the GitHub, all this code was automatically pulled out. So there is no need to worry about computation part that's been taken care of. If you are new to the, the CAP framework, you can join our SAP BTP training where we taught all of this in detail. Okay, having said that, now it's time to just go ahead and add a micro chart. So I can right click and go to, as usual, show page map, where we can do add the controls and modify controls in a low code, no code environment. I can just go for change for the booking data. Let the page map open. We can expand our itinerary section with the table. And now we are going to add a new column. You can see there are different types of columns to choose from. So of course we are going to add a new chart column over there. Wow, nice. So let's add the chart column. And now we can choose the chart type as a radial chart. And we can specify the values which we would need for this. So we will choose the, uh, the value for the booking flights, booked flights, 
and the target value is the VIP bookings. So basically this VIP bookings is the total amount of bookings which is the threshold value and booking book to flights is the count of records which we are evaluating at runtime of how many book bookings have been done that is what we have done so it will let's say there are 100 VIP bookings allowed and we have booked almost let's say uh, out of 130 so the radial chart will show 30 percent we can click on add button and the new column will get added very nice so it's basically a percentage calculation now you can see the column is added i drag this column and drop it at position number two how easy it is to reposition our columns and then we can just look at here on the right side the importance of the field and criticality source so we will also show the color to show that we are going to attach it to a property coming from our data model and the property which we will be choosing here is eligible for prime or not this will show the color remember we are uh, autumn we are calculating that eligible for prime value three means it is green color and one means it is red color so that color coding we are evaluating in our exit handler now we can apply that we can also maintain the label so that also translation can be done so you can see we have different different properties including the width to choose from and we can also convert the book to flight or book to flight label into the into the i itinerant so let's come here and say i itinerant label i will add that and yes that's it i guess we are ready and we should be able to see our chart i would like to show the generated annotation so you can click this button to see the annotation file which is automatically prepared so system has added here a data field for annotation and it is pointing to a chart annotation we can just control and click this chart annotation it will take you to the chart annotation it's defined again here itself with the book to flight is kept as a measure it will show a donor chart yes and the data point is going to be book flight the measure here is booked flight again which is a number and if i control click it will take you to the data point the data point will basically use to show the <coughs> coloring so the target value which is the vip bookings from the carrier entity set let's say it's 100 and let's say current booking count is 30 so it will show 30 percent automatically the criticality indicates the color coding yes that is what we are doing over here in this annotation I will be sharing this annotation code as part of the study material. You can find the study material link in the description of this video. Let's go back and now test our application. So we can come back here and we can choose any travel request. And when you come down, you can see it's 100%. Wow. So let me see if we find some record where it is not exactly 100% also. Yes, you see 75% book, 50% book. 100% VIP booking, 25%. So that's a small, beautiful radial chart coming as part of our table columns. So this is how you can beautify the experience for our end user when it comes to developing Fury Elements application. Isn't that easy to add a chart now? Yes. Cool. So that comes to the end of today's class. I hope you enjoyed this session. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, and also hit the bell icon share this video with your colleagues in the whatsapp group so that they can also take advantage to build fury element application end-to-end -end using ui5 flexible programming model on business application studio with the help of odata services v4 thank you so much catch you up in the next episode goodbye